Oh, it's Hunter Fisher here with, uh, we're over at ICAST 2023 right now, and we're checking out the new St. Croix Mojo Bass Bait Finesse Rods. It, this is their seven foot one model. Uh, it's actually a moderate fast action, light power, uh, and it looks great so far. We don't have a BFS on, reel on it today, but this is a fantastic looking rod. I really like the short trigger reel seat that they have on there. It's definitely unique. They have more of a triangle grip uh, cork right there, and it's definitely a little light. The handle's a little long, but that's okay because it's going to give you a little bit more power to do a bit more of the cranking stuff. This is the seven foot one model. There's a six foot ten model they're also coming out with. They mentioned that's going to be more of a fast action. Is that what it was? And it's definitely great looking so far, but just testing it out real quick. Look at the bend over here. I say, check that bend out. It looks fantastic. It's very soft, like in terms of how it bends and stuff like that. But right now we have just a regular, one of the St. Croix reels, I think this is a, is, is a- Seven they're called. Yeah, it's called their seven. And it has even a drag clicker on it. Not technically a BFS reel, but they are coming out with a shallow spool option he mentioned. And uh, there's not yet. Uh, I don't know when it's coming, but we just, I'm actually really impressed with this rod so far. And St. Croix, they're, 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 they might be coming out with something good now. Oh, almost backlashed. We're rocking with um, six pound fluorocarbon right now. And the six pound fluorocarbon, it's casting pretty well on our conventional reel. It's easy to cast with. And like, see how it's sitting in my arm right here? Let's say it sits really nice in the arm. So if you're in a square bill, a small square bill, and you pull into it, it's gonna be a really easy hook set, especially with a chatter bait or something like something like that. Dang. What I'm really liking so far with it is the guide spacing. I know that's not really something you talk about too much on the rod reviews is guide spacing, but if you notice how well it loads up, I like how the guides are spaced just right for if you're using fluorocarbon, which is a lot of what people do use with bait finesse, or at least it's meant to be used, quote unquote. And that guide spacing, I think it's super ideal with fluorocarbon and I think it's gonna be a great option. So, but this is the St. Croix Mojo Bass Bait Finesse series. It's coming as part of their normal series, and it's gonna be considered just a, a rod that's part of the series that you use for bass finesse. Oh, is the lightning in the background? That's crazy. <laughs> That'll be in the video. Um, but it's it looks like a great rod. It looks like they call this grip style trigon. I really like that. Um, that's gonna be interesting. So this rod looks great. It's just part of the normal Mojo Bass lineup because really bait finesse is going to find that position in America is it's part of just a regular bass rod, but it's just a lighter power meant for light line bait casters and it should be interesting to fish with. So this is it. If you guys are interested in this, I'll answer any questions down below and uh, thank you for watching. Hunter Fisher, out.